So from your um, firing stance, do not move your back leg. You just need to move your front foot. Okay. So from here, just take a half foot back. Bring your back leg. As soon as you touch the floor, just bounce back forward. Okay. We'll do this slowly. Here, pitch. Eight. Seven. She keep your hands up all the time. Go. Look. Six. Touch. Two. Two. All right. Let's practice the other side. Down, touch, and twist. Reverse arms will be the same. Imagine the punch coming. Just step back to avoid the punch. Pitch. Eight. Seven. Two. Let's do some application on this one. Uh, if you have a partner with you, it's time to face a partner. If you don't have one. Uh, too bad, you will do it on your own. Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to face um, Cheryl. Oops. I'm going to punch Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl is going to step back to just avoid the punch. Again, okay? do nothing else but just don't get hit. Alright? Okay, we'll start slowly. Pitch. Aim. Sound. Shape. Roll. Roll. Pitch. Punch. Cue. Cue. Alright? Okay, let's change over. Here we go. Pitch. All right. Important point is make sure your partner is able to um, actually hit you. Theory. Baby. Sun. Shade. Go. Go. Sitch. Touch. Theory. Jew. All right. Good. As you do this, of course, it's a good habit to keep always keep your hand, uh, hands up for unexpected um, movements. Okay, that's gonna hit you. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do. Um, is that you have already avoided the punch. Of course, if you just keep avoiding, um, the opponent is always going to keep attacking you. So for example, if she avoided once, I'm not just going to come back. If I'm serious about hitting her, so I'm going to go again, 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 and again. Okay? Uh, I need to do something in order to prevent her, uh, in order to prevent um, my opponent from hitting me again, again, and again. So this is where I need to break the opponent's balance by redirecting his, his or her movement. Okay? So this is an example of how we can do it. Okay? So the first um, basic of course is to move away from the punch, so punch comes. Okay, distance is okay, let's try again. So the first basic is to avoid the um, attack. The second one is to redirect the attack <coughs> just before the opponent is able to pull it back. Okay? Realistically, the opponent will hit and then will come back or they will attack again. So, for example, she's going to uh, retry again um, as soon as she's finished hitting. Okay. So, if I react too slowly, okay, I will not be able to do anything because she would have already recovered. Correct? Okay, so I'm too late. Okay. I need to be able to catch the time before she um, is able to pull back the hand. I need to be able to redirect and break the balance, okay, for example. Okay, so instead of coming straight to me, I redirected the hand away. Okay, thank you. Alright, so imagine a punch is coming to your body. Move back to avoid a punch. Just before the punch finishes, use your forearm to deflect it to your right in a circular motion and come back to firing stance. Okay, so one more time. And this um, technique is what we call soko okay? okay, soko means um, from the outside, okay means to receive, okay? So punch comes in, I receive it by moving back from the outside, I receive it inwards, and then back up, okay? Let's do it for 10 counts, slow, okay? H, B, South, G, okay? Facing a partner, I'm gonna punch, Cheryl is gonna do soko okay? okay? Slowly, H, Eight, Okay, we're gonna do a changeover. So right hand comes, go reach. Eight, sound, shape, go. Go. Try hit, switch, touch, give, give. Of course, as you redirect the punch, okay, you would have broken the balance quite a bit, and finally you can counter attack. Okay, so punch comes. Okay, so. If I did not redirect and break her balance, she would have pulled back the punch. Okay, and by the time I punch, she's gonna recover and deflect mine. Okay, so my timing has to be just nice, 
that before she retracts her punch, I'm able to come, uh, to receive and counter attack again. All right, and back to my guts up. Let's try. Okay, fighting stance. Step back. So go again. Step forward. Right straight punch. Okay. Let's do it slowly. Breathe. Inch. Knee. Sun. She. Alright, facing your partner. So Shara is going to attack. Uh, I'm going to receive and come back. Get ready. Inch. Knee. Sun. She. Alright, let's do a change over. My right punch, Cheryl's um, stepping back, so go get a right straight punch. Wait, pitch, B, sound, shape. Good. What happens is <coughs> opponent gives a left straight punch, okay? Of course, you can use the same technique, for example. Left straight punch comes, step back, you do a super kick. Okay. But understand that when you do that, you are making yourself to be in the inside position relative to your opponent and the other hand could easily come in, okay? So that's not very um, logical okay, in uh, this application, okay? Instead, what I would prefer to do if a left straight punch comes, I redirect the punch to the left so that if she tries to counter attack, I'm able to check the shoulder, okay? This, um, means of redirecting is what we call Gera Marai, okay? So, in the timing is step back, the, your front hand, scoot downwards, and circle back up. So again, one, two, spot on slowly, itch, beach, sun, shape. All right, facing your partner. Left your punch comes to the chest. Okay, when punch comes, I step back, and redirect, and come to attack next to it. Face, it's slow down to the bridge. A, sound, shape. Alright, change over. I tackle that straight punch, receiver, step back, you know, but I counter with a right straight. Okay, it's slow down to the bridge. A, sound, shape. Speed up, go. Rook, sitch, punch. Back foot, Q, Q, 